I'm Eric. I'm Connor. And this is a PIO vlog. Hey everyone, we hope you had a great holiday season. Welcome to 2021 and our latest series of videos. It's been a long time since we've brought a vlog to you, so we're excited to bring you up to speed on everything going on around South Metro. Over the past few weeks, South Metro has responded to a number of water and ice related incidents. Some of those have just been kids playing or walking across the ice at some of our local ponds. And in other cases, we've had dogs fall through the ice. Tragically, one dog was killed, and in a more positive situation, we had two dogs that were successfully rescued by our firefighters. So if you live in South Metro's district or in anywhere that has a cold climate, it's really important for you to remember that no ice is safe ice. So it might feel like it's safe as you start to step out on that, um, but we've had instances in our fire district where really tragically kids have fallen through and in some cases we've had young kids die in icy ponds because they were out there when they shouldn't have been. So again, the best advice is stay off the ice and if you see an animal in distress, the best thing that you can do is dial 911 and have firefighters respond who are specially trained in that situation, who are wearing dry suits and can get into that environment safely without getting cold or becoming trapped themselves. And they can very quickly rescue animals. They're trained to do that. And here's a great video from Engine 11 of a very successful rescue that they did. Die 16, Engine 11, Medic 11, Battalion Chief 3, Safety 18, Channel SMS Off 5, Animal Water Rescue, Map Page R22C, at Stern Park, 5800, South Spotswood Street. We're on scene. We do have a dog through the ice approximately 20 feet off of Spotswood. We're going to be in the office of strategy sending out a firefighter in the ice rescue. Watch your face. Engine 11 will be spot with command. Yeah, buddy. The dog is out of the ice. You can pick up all the units. On January 19th, firefighters responded to a house fire on South Cremaria Way in Centennial. 33 is on scene. We have a medium two-story with active fire coming out of the chimney. Engine 33 will be in an offensive strategy investigating, working on Ops 3. Firefighters from Engine 33 arrived on scene and they found there was fire and smoke coming out of the chimney of the house. Some workers at a home across the street actually noticed this first, and they went to the home to get the residents out safely, but the residents inside didn't even know this was happening at their house. The firefighters, they were able to pull some hand lines, but they could not get fully to the fire from the ground. So firefighters from Tower 34, they were able to use their aerial bucket to get to the fire in the chimney from above the house. So they were able to put the fire out, but there were a lot of hot spots that were in that chimney. So they used a variety of hooks and saws to get to that fire extension and make sure the fire was completely put out. There was also a little extension into the attic space next to that chimney. So they went in there and made sure that all of the hot spots were fully extinguished uh, before leaving the scene. As I said, the residents were able to evacuate safely and there was no injuries from this fire. The cause of the fire that our fire investigators found was that it was electrical and accidental. They said that it had to do with some wiring that was in a concealed space around the chimney that happened during construction.
This is not the first time firefighters have responded there. There was a house fire at this exact location back in 2007 and the house burned down in that fire. We always appreciate working with great agencies on scene, so thank you to Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office and Arapahoe Rescue Patrol for support on this incident. One of the most frequent questions we've been getting is where is the merch? And I can tell you that we have a very exciting announcement about merch, but I don't get to tell you about it today. So you're going to have to tune in on February 5th. So write that down on your calendars. Friday, February 5th, we will have more information for you on the merch. I'm super excited about it, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be as well. Many of you have reached out to us about Station 20. This is going to be South Metro's 30th station in our district. We are so excited for the opening of this station. We have had the date changed uh, just a little bit. The date is now going to be pushed into March of 2021. But we do have some new pictures that we want to show you. The apparatus is still the same that will be housed at this firehouse. It will be an engine as well as a brush engine. So again, that has been moved to March of 2021 for an opening. Every time Connor and I came back to the office from working from home most of the time, we always found things in our mailbox and it's so exciting. We can't thank you enough. I don't think we can call it Pat shout outs at this point because we're getting so many different cool things. Um, so our, our mail shout out today, uh, we've got a few things to share with you. So the first one that I have is from one of our local fire buffs. This is from Sam. Sam is Colorado fire buff. And you can find him on YouTube and Instagram. We get to hang out with him at some of our scenes. Um, and so he was kind enough to send us one of his logos. I have a challenge coin from Throop, Pennsylvania. Here's a patch from South Orange Rescue Squad in New Jersey. Got a decal from San Diego, California fire. Here's a patch from Meridian Township. This is a patch from Pleasant Square Fire Department. Here's a military patch and magnet, which says always ready. We have a little patch from Baltimore County Fire. Here's Village of Coal City Police Department and a secondary patch that came with that one. The Scottish Fire Service was kind enough to send us a couple of beanies. They are the fourth largest fire service in the world. So I might get some funny looks on scene when I wear this at South Metro Calls, but I think it's pretty cool. Next up, I have a calendar, a patch, and a challenge coin from Mottville Fire Company. So there's the calendar. And you get a look at some of the awesome pictures that are inside there. Here is the patch. And an awesome challenge coin to go with it. All right, I have some shout outs as well. Thank you so much for all of the patches and as Eric said, coins, pictures, photos, anything that you guys send us. We are so excited to add them to our collection. So let's get started with these shout outs. We have four to start out with from New Jersey. We have the Gloucester County Communications Patch. We have the Blackwood Fire Company Patch. Harrison Township Fire District. And the final one from New Jersey is Woodbury Heights Fire Rescue. Thank you so much. All right, the next one we have is U.S. Search and Rescue. Very neat patch. This one's fun because this was my favorite board game growing up. We have a Monopoly themed patch from Dallas Fire Rescue. Awesome. We also have some epaulettes to share with you from St. John Ambulance. Those are always fun and different for us to get. We have one from Baltimore Fire Department from the Special Operations Command. We have two from Washington, the Bald Hills Fire Department. And here is the second one. This is a fire cadet patch from Bald Hills. 
This one Eric and I really enjoyed is from Berlin. We love all of the different colors on this one. Thank you. All right, just a few more here. This one is from Hamburg, Germany. And there's actually a horse coming out of the hose line, if you can see that in that detailing. Very neat. This one is from Maryland Line Volunteer Fire Company, Station 45. We have Albany County Fire District number one from Central Wyoming. A few minutes later. A few more patches for you from Sonoida Elgin Fire District in Arizona. We have NB Power Nuclear Emergency Response. Upper Kings Clear Fire from Canada. And to finish off, this one is um, also from Upper Cl Kings Clear Fire Department, and it is a challenge coin. And there's the second side. Thank you all so much for trading with us. We so enjoy adding all of this to our collection. It's great to see and talk with all of you again. Connor and I are really excited to start getting into more regular videos. Um, COVID-19 certainly hasn't gone away and our fire department still has to take a lot of precautions and we're still limiting a lot of the activities that we have. So bear with us as we start working into a more regular video schedule. Our goal, of course, would be to bring you something new every week, um, but please have patience with us because that may not always be possible, but we'll do our best. Um, we'll have another station Saturday with station 41 coming up here soon, and we'll also have uh, Day in the Life's coming back as soon as we can get those as well. So we hope that you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and we'll catch you next time. We hope you all continue having a wonderful 2021. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you find that subscribe button, click it so that you know when we bring you all new videos and content right here on our channel. Thank you guys so much and we hope you have a great rest of your week or weekend coming up.